Trump, who's not going to resist a, an opportunity to jump in on a fight, you know, these new congresswomen and Nancy Pelosi, they have not been getting along so well. And I think if anything else, let these women resolve their issues. Now, Trump is getting in on the whole thing for the obvious reasons, okay? And, you know, I, I, I think it's very inappropriate for a president, even if there's squabbling going on in Congress and in the Senate, let those folks resolve it. Why is a president jumping? And you know how unprofessional this looks, okay? So I'm not surprised that he's jumping on the side of Nancy Pelosi. I'm not shocked in this whole thing. So this came out in Business Insider, and he really shouldn't have been out there saying these kind of things. Trump tells progressive freshmen, congresswomen, to go back to broken and crime-infested countries. Well, I got news for you, Trump. America is broken and uh, crime-infested. And there's no bigger criminal in America than your cops. They have proven to us in all kinds of videos and crimes and stealing from dead corpses and handcuffing people that committed no crimes and robbing from people, planting weapons, planting drugs. We got it all on video. Okay, you are not in any position to talk about the crime in somebody else's country when you got bad crime here in America and your system is corrupt. So out of these four women, three were born in the U.S. Only the congresswoman from Somalia was born outside of this country, but she is a naturalized citizen. So she became a citizen legally. So Trump, everything he said was totally inappropriate. He has no business saying that to anybody that was born here. And you certainly have no business talking about crime and corruption when America is one of the most crime riddled and corrupted places on the face of the earth. You know, it's a shame that it took this long for somebody to get up and tell you this. But it is not about these women. It is the principle of the whole thing and this president that feels he has the right to talk about somebody's country situation and everything is just, it's falling apart in America. So Trump tweeted Sunday morning asking the progressive Democrat Congresswomen to go back to their corrupt countries, broken and crime infested. Okay, again, three of those women were born in the U.S. Only one was not born here. He claimed the Congress women most likely referred to the squad of freshman progressives were loudly and viciously telling the people of the United States how our government is to be run. Well, they got elected into those positions, Trump, whether you like it or not, they were elected by their people. So instead, Trump suggests that the Congresswomen who he tweeted originally came from countries whose governments are a complete and total catastrophe, the worst, most corrupt and inept anywhere in the world should go back and fix the places from which they came for three of them came from America Trump and only one came from Somalia and as far as Ocasio Cortez she's Puerto Rican and I thought Puerto Rico was a commonwealth of the US 
Ayanna Presley, she's African American. Okay, so what are you talking about? Go back to the place they came from here, Trump. <laughs> they they came from here. These places need your help badly. You can't leave fast enough, Trump tweeted along with saying, I'm sure Nancy Pelosi would be happy to quickly work out free travel arrangements. Why is he weighing in on this thing? As president, this should be above him. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, he showed us a long time ago. If you want to go out on Twitter and fight with NBA players and NFL players, then no fight is beneath you, I guess. This is so unpresidential, it's not even funny. I mean, think about this. Think about all of the presidents before him. How many of them have you heard weighing in on fights in the Senate and in Congress? They don't usually get involved in that. How is this sitting president? You know why? Because it's just like they said before, Trump is a big ass toddler. He's a big toddler. And quite frankly, I believe many of your people in Congress and in the Senate are way too old. Look how many tweets he sent out on this shit. Wow. I think some of those people are too old. Nancy Pelosi is 79 years old. And I gave you the ages like when Dianne Feinstein came out opposing reparations. She's 85 years old. These people need to get out and retire. They're too old to be in there. And they are the reason why America can't move forward. You got too many damn old ass people being reelected to office and they should have retired 20 years ago. These people need to go somewhere and sit down. I, I, I pulled up their ages. There's an awful lot of 70 year old people in the Congress. It's too many. But this is also America's fault for keep reelecting these old relics over and over and over. You need some fresh blood in there every now and then. These old ass fools, they ain't gonna change nothing about America. It's going to go on like this forever. Stagnant. So, just watching this from the outside in, my suggestion, let these people fight it out. And a president shouldn't be involved. I don't know what he's throwing his two cents in a fight among women. And this big ass clumpy ass president coming in the middle of it like he got something significant to say everything he's saying is stupid you're saying this to people the majority of that squad that you're referring to were born in america so you're telling them to take care of their war-torn american country that's corrupt and filled with crime then i would agree with you trump because this country is mad deep in corruption. You're knee deep in it. And we certainly, <laughs> look, we can't even get him to show his tax returns. And he wants to focus on a fight among women. Let these women work this out on their own. They're grown ups. They're not babies. They're grown ups. They don't need him to weigh in on this. It looks bad that a president is more focused on a fight in Congress instead of running the country. And if you want to talk corruption, Trump, there's so much corruption that came out of, about you. We could probably talk a lifetime about all of your corruption. What is this man talking about? This is so tacky and unpresidential.
But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care that much about the fight, but it's the kind of things that he is saying that kind of drew me to the whole thing. When these women were fighting among each other, I didn't make one single video about it. But it's Trump weighing in and the kind of things that he is saying is totally inappropriate. Whether you like it or not, Trump, these women were all elected to office. All of them. And as far as I'm concerned, Congress needs a damn shakeup with all them damn old ass people up in there. They need a good shakeup. I hope more of these women that got a lot of fight in them get up there and make it into Congress. It's definitely a start. All of you are too old <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. And you too, Trump. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.